I had a friend once who told me that the worst mistake that you can make is to think that you are alive. When really you're asleep in life's waiting room. The trick is to combine your waking rational abilities with the infinite possibilities of your dreams. Because if you can do that, you can do anything. Did you ever have a job that you hated, worked really hard at? A long, hard day work, finally you get to go home, get in bed, close your eyes, and immediately you wake up and realize that the whole day at work had been a dream. Enough that you could sell your waking life for for minimum wage, but now they get your dreams for free.
dreamer? Yeah. I haven't seen too many of you around lately. Things have been tough lately for dreamers. They say dreaming's dead. No one does it anymore. It's not dead, it's just it's been forgotten. Removed from our language. Nobody teaches it, so no one knows it exists. The dreamers banished to obscurity. Well, I'm trying to change all that, and I hope you are too. By dreaming every day. Dreaming with our hands and dreaming with our minds. Our planet is facing the greatest problems it's ever faced. Ever. So whatever you do, don't be bored. This is absolutely the most exciting time we could have possibly hoped to be alive. And things have just started. Observing your life from the perspective of an old woman about to die. Remember that? Yeah. I still feel that way sometimes. Like I'm looking back on my life. Like my waking life is her memories. Yeah, exactly. I, I heard that Tim Leary said as he was dying that he was looking forward to the moment when his body was dead, but his brain was still alive. You know how they say that there's still six to 12 minutes of brain activity after everything else is shut down. And the second of dream consciousness, right? Well, that's infinitely longer than a waking second. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. For example, I wake up and it's 10, 12, and then I go back to sleep and I have those long, intricate, beautiful dreams that seem to last for hours, and then I wake up and it's 10, 13. Yeah, exactly. So then six to 12 minutes, right, of brain activity. I mean, that could be your whole life. I mean, you are that woman looking back over everything. Okay, so what if I am, then what would you be in all that? Whatever I am right now. I mean, yeah, maybe I only exist in your mind. I'm still just as real as anything else. Yeah. 
Yeah. I've been thinking also about something you said. What's that? Just about reincarnation and where all the new souls come from over time. Everybody always say that they've been the reincarnation of Cleopatra or Alexander the Great. I always want to tell them they were probably some dumb fuck like everybody else. I mean, it's impossible. Think about it. The world population has doubled in the past 40 years, right? So if you really believe in that ego thing of one eternal soul, uh -huh. then you have only 50% chance of your soul being over 40. And for it to be over 150 years old, then it's only one out of six. Right, so what are you saying? That reincarnation doesn't exist? Is that we're all young souls? Like, we're, what, half of us are first-round humans? I mean... No, no. What you, what you... No, what I'm trying to say is that somehow I believe reincarnation is just a, a poetic expression of what collective memory really is. There was this article by this biochemist I right. read not long ago, and he was talking about how when a member of a species is born, it has a billion years of memory to draw on. And this is where we inherit our instincts. I like that. It's like there's some... Um... This whole telepathic thing going on that we're all a part of, whether we're conscious of it or not.
observing your life from the perspective of an old woman about to die. Remember that? you finally get out of it oh man it was just like one of those like life-altering experiences i mean I, I could never really look at the world the same way again after that yeah, but i mean like how did you how did you finally get out of the dream see that's my problem i'm, I'm like i'm trapped i keep i keep thinking that i'm waking up but i'm still in a dream it seems like it's going on forever i can't get out of it and i want to wake up for real how do you really wake up i don't know i don't know i'm not very good at that anymore but um if that's what you're thinking, I mean, you, you probably should. I mean, you know, if you can wake up, you should. Because, you know, someday, you know, you won't be able to. So just, um, but it's easy. You know, just, just... It's not dead, it's just a bit forgotten.